Hey guys, Gaff here again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to use a, another aspect of the clone tool in the MC Edit program. Now as you can see here, I downloaded a world and there's this little observation tower turret thing. Looks kind of cool. I don't think it really works too well up in this mountain, so I think I'm going to move it. So I'll do that. Uh, as you can see, I selected. I have the blue corner down there and the yellow corner up there. I use the nudge tool to make that selection or assist me in making that selection. Let's say I want to move this tower down to here. So what I'll do is I'll click the clone tool. It will show me that green selection box of where it would be. And uh, let's move it down here. So I sort of showed you how to do this in a prior video. Uh, if you forgot, you're basically just using this um, tool on the side here. And if that's not exactly how you want it, you can always move it up using the WASD and the QZ keys. Let's say I want to move that up a little bit. So what I wanted to show you right now is the rotate, roll, and flip tool. Uh, this is really great if you want to build, say, half of this turret, and then you want to, uh, let's say, mirror it using the flip thing and create a clone of that which will uh, complete the other half that you didn't build. So you can use the rotate key, which will rotate it around like so. Uh, you can use the roll key, which will roll it around on a, um, I believe as though there's sort of like a horizontal axis running through it and it will rotate like that. So you can turn it upside down, sideways uh, and the like. And then there's the flip key which will essentially just take it and flip it around. So I'm pressing the F key there. It doesn't show anything because it really just mirrors it around and mirrors it around. So if you want to build, say, half of the library that I did in my original video where it's my level walkthrough, uh, it becomes a lot easier to just flip it and then have the other half done. So let's uh, roll this upright and we'll flip it around and we'll, uh, we don't need to copy air, we don't need to copy water, and let's clone. It will replace however many blocks uh, it needs to reload in that chunk and rebuild it. So I think, yep, there we go, and it's reloading there. And as you can see, uh, whereas that original entrance that's right there used to be over there, it's now here. If you had to rebuild that entire castle uh, turret by hand, that would take you a considerable amount of time. And if you're sort of like an OCD person and wanted that to be an exact replica, it would have taken even more time unless you had a blueprint in front of you. That took all of 30 seconds, and that was really like me explaining this a lot more than it really had to be done. Uh, for your benefit. So uh, be sure to fool around with that, especially if you're building very large superstructures. You only need to build half of it, especially if it's symmetrical, and then you can just use the flip tool and the other half is really done in all of 30 seconds instead of, say, 30 hours. Thanks for watching, guys.